is happening, fellow explorers? Well, I am back again, still here at the Santa Clara Mission Cemetery, located in Santa Clara, California. This place is awesome so far. It's been pretty cool, and let's go check out some more of this cemetery. Come on. Here's an interesting one, the Davies family, Hannah and Edwin. Edwin was an interesting character. He was born in Maine. He arrived in California in 1854 and established a starch factory near San Leandro in 1855. The same year he settled in Santa Clara. In 1856 he opened the Santa Clara machine shop and ran it for several years before building the three-story Davies machine shop on the corner of Jackson and Liberty Streets. He invented several agricultural implements, as did his brother L.B. Davies in Ohio, who invented the cow catcher on a locomotive. Edwin wanted to make sure that people would always know that he was an inventor and machine shop owner, so he had a hammer, wrench, chisel, and other tools carved onto his ornate gravestone. He was very proud of his world travels and that he never used a particular particle of tobacco or drank a glass of liquor in his life. Edwin Davies with his wife, Hannah. Let's see here, we can get some of the tools on his stone. I don't want to step too far in here, but check that out. Well, that's actually cool. And this beautiful tile work. Go up the stairs and the beautiful tile work leading up to the main stone. Interesting. Some of these graves are just beautiful. This place does go back quite a bit in time. You can tell by some of these stones. Silent is the last name here. Very interesting. In memory of Mary E. Wife of Charles Silent, born in 1846, died 1871. Another heavily damaged grave area they have, they have blocked off, you know, because there's like a big sinkhole in the center, as you could probably see. In the Moody family, we got Walter A. Moody. It says, here rests a woodman of the world. He died in uh, 1910. And here is Barton Moody. He was born in 1833 in Jackson County, Michigan. He spent nearly 50 of his 80 years in the Santa Clara Valley. He was the first freighter to convey freight from San Francisco to Mountain View, later became an orchidist and also had cattle ranches at Los Banos. Barton S. Moody. And you can probably see, like I said, the sinkhole over there. That's why they have this thing all fenced off. Interesting. But I found this stuff on him on Find a Grave. Interesting, interesting what you can find on Find a Grave interesting gravestones. I like they're rounded. It's hard to make these out. But that is very interesting. Like logs or something they're they're made into. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, here's an interesting Very, very interesting uh, top to this grave here. I just noticed this as I was walking by the Graham 
area. Helen Wheeler, she was a poet, they said. She was from Bowling Green, Kentucky. I just uh, noticed this on the way by. And it says, very next to her is her husband, William. And his just says, proud American. He's got some kind of tool inscribed in the top of this. Must have been somebody handy with his hands. Here is the stone for a Captain Harry Love. He was an American folk figure law officer. He was a California Ranger reputed to have killed and beheaded the legendary bandit Joaquin Marietta in 1858 for a $5,000 state reward. Legend had it he called himself the Black Knight of Zayante. After he retired from the Rangers, he moved to Ben Loman to run a lumber mill and is credited with building the first road to Felton. So he was a California Ranger. Got a little bit of history right here. Interesting. Thought this stone was pretty interesting. William Cox, he was a landowner in the area. He was one of the larger growers of grain and hay for this area. I guess at, at one point he had cut his entire crop and had about 300 tons of hay. William Cox, very interesting. Stones kind of weather damaged and whatnot, but there it is. And here's the little chapel area in the center of the cemetery. Very, very interesting. Very, very beautiful. Well, here is the mausoleum here. This looks like it would be a pretty cool uh, explorer, but due to what's going on in the world, they seem to have it closed right now. So gates are closed and there's a thing saying that it's closed on the gate there so I would have loved to have been inside this thing and check it out that's maybe a different day for a different video here is an area dedicated to war veterans of Santa Clara oh, you can kind of see the plaque American Legion Number 419-1932, this plot was donated by the city. Oh, there you go. Here's the flagpole. But at the top, there is no flag, which usually there is a flag in an area dedicated to the veterans. Seeing a lot of stuff. People in World War II, World War I, Korea. Here is John David. He, had, he got the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. Wow, that is uh, something. All of these are all military there. Walking to the back of this veterans area, the the. The veterans, are, the graves are getting older and going further back. I have found a grave of somebody, Ernest Wright. He was in the Spanish-American War. And here is Albert Morin. There you go, World War I veteran. God bless our veterans, you know. They, uh, they fought for us, you know, and some of them paid the ultimate sacrifice. Found some really, really old school graves back to the Spanish American War and World War I. That's just awesome. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I found some, I found a lawman, I found some war veterans. Very interesting, interesting day here at the uh, cemetery here. All right, guys, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. And if you are digging this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you soon.